everybody! My name is Shingles, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video! And another video inside of Shingles' lovely world! And today, in this video, I'm going to be joined by... Purpleberry2, with her nice golden booties on! Hello, Purpleberry! And today, we are going to be making a cafe called the Lizard's Lunch! <laughs> So, named after myself, of course, the Shingles Lizard, we'll be making the Lizard's Lunch Cafe. And, uh, yeah, let's get straight to it. Whoa, 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 I almost forgot! It's breakfast time! Come on, Purpleberry, breakfast. And I'm not very hungry, so I can have one slice. Nom! The rest is for you, Purpleberry. <laughs> She's not hungry either. And, uh, we have got some cats here. Hello, muffins! So, there's muffins up there. And then up in Purpleberry's room, she's got Fudge and Amethyst. And she's got her own doggy now. And speaking of dogs, I'm going to go and select one from the dog house. But before we do that, I'm just going to quickly grab my resources so that we're ready to go for the day. And I do have some nice enchanted diamond swords and pickaxes, including Silk Touch, which is very nice. And... I'm going to need spruce wood today, dark oak, spruce wood planks, uh, oak and birch stairs, and a few others as well, and a little bit of wool, and also we're going to need some doors, and finally, from the chest over here, purpleberry, there's some spruce wood in there for you, and also some oak wood. So, I think you'll be needing those today, so... We may have to come get some other things uh, a little bit later on. But for now, it's time to go and grab ourselves a dog. Actually, I think I might just grab myself a little bit of food first. I have been doing a bit of a food stock up. I've made a little bit more food so that uh, we won't run out in the episodes. I have a little bit more cake whilst I'm there. Right, off to the doggy house. And I do have a heap more dogs because I actually found... A fair amount off camera actually. I went for a little bit of an explore and I did find a few more doggies. And uh, there are horses over there. Uh, Rocky is my horse. And I can't actually remember the name of Purpleberry's horse at the moment. And we also have finished decorating the nether room as much as possible. <laughs> so you can see we've uh, finished it off. So uh, that's. Uh, completed now. We've completed the nether room. And it's time to head into the dog house. And as you can see, I have got a heap more dogs today. I've got plenty more of them, and some of them are under here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, doggies. And today, I'm going to be joined by... Let's take Bucky today. And where's Bucky? I think this is Bucky, and it's Bucky because he has the red collar and oops! How'd she get, dog? <laughs> uh oh. He's stuck in the water. Anyway, Bucky, you can come along with me today. Where are we? Oh, it looks like we've got some of the other dogs coming as well. Okay, you guys will have to stand up and come on back. Come on, back inside, dogs. You're not coming with me in the video today. Too many dogs is going to make for a bit of a messy video. Come on, back inside. That's it. There we go. And now we can continue along. And hopefully, Bucky's going to be following me out. Bucky, let's go. And come on, also, Purpleberry, my feathered penguin friend, let's go. And where is my doggy? There he is. Come on, Bucky. And we're going to be building the Lizard's Lunch Cafe over here in this uh, nice little shopping village area. So I'm going to be starting to make a shopping village. And I have marked it out with torches. And so I believe uh, we're going to start piling up with the, uh, the spruce here. And then, oh, stay out of the way for now, Bucky. We don't want you to get too hurt. And I also have some uh, grey glass stained panes. And, oh, I think it's coming to night time, is it? I think it is. We may have to go and sleep quick. So, we'll just put these in for now. And uh, it's going to go six glass panes, like that. There we go. 
and then another one across like that. And then that's going to be one side, but it is coming to night time, so we're going to have to quickly go and sleep. And have something to eat. <laughs> Real bit hungry. So, Pepperberry, if you head to bed, if you're not already there, and I think she might already be inside, but I'm going to have to run in quickly and go to bed. Right. It's bedtime. Let's go. Okay. Bedtime. Alright. And, uh, sometimes Muffins does like to come on the end of my bed and sleep with me. So, <laughs> that happened a few nights ago when Muffins decided she wanted to spend a night with the old shingles lizard. And, uh, so, yeah, let's head straight back. Just grab a bit more food so that I've got enough for the day. And then let's continue building. So, oh, it's raining. That's sad, isn't it? We're going to have to watch out for googlies then. We don't want googlies to infiltrate our... Um, let's see. What should we call? We need a fancy name. We need our Cafe of Awesomeness. <laughs> That's not too fancy, but it's good enough. Right, so we'll just pile up here like that. And uh, we'll just mine this part away. There we go. Purpleberry. Oh, I thought she was mining away all the good parts. Pebbleberry, you have to mine away the parts that aren't so good. Okay. So it looks like we're getting a lot of googlies out at the moment. So maybe... I think I might just cheat. Weather clear. That's a nice little cheat I found. So I can change the weather. And it's just helpful so that uh, in the videos we don't get too many googlies wandering around. And I do have some doors on me, I believe. Yep. So we'll go ahead and use those. So, Purpleberry, I think that might be out a bit too far. Or maybe she's planned it out. I don't know. Oh, no, she's done it right. I think. <laughs> we'll have to worry about Purpleberry later. For now, I'm just going to place uh, a bit of wool down. So, the floors are actually going to be made out of wool. Ow! And you might have noticed just then that uh, I have kind of hollowed out the mountain a little bit. Just so that we can do a few spleef competitions when we're trying to lay the floors. Just for a bit of fun for me and Purpleberry. So, uh, yeah, that will be something we can do now. And we'll just put those in there. And then add in some very nice looking oak planks above the doors. And now we're also going to be uh, building across to here. And then we'll be building up a little bit more. Like that. And then we might just go and build up here a little bit. And add in a little bit more glass. Like so. And then place in the rest of these sideways planks. It's a little bit hard to do sideways planks when you're on the ground like this. But it'll have to just work out for now. So there we go. That's what the front of the lizard's lunch is going to look like. Except we're going to have two very large L's on the front in a blue coloured wool. So that'll be very nice. And uh, Purpleberry, doing a very good job. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then it's actually going to go like this. And then we're going to have Purpleberry. We're going to have a uh, pole here. I think, yes, we were going to have a pole here. Like so. And I'll just extend that across and hopefully not fall off the end. There we go. Ah! <laughs> And then I think we're going to need to do it out one more. So we'll just move this out one more. So Pablory, if you uh, do the same on the other side, and just copy me, and I'll add in the glass panes. And then hopefully we'll have a bit of uh, the outside look done. So oh, it looks like we've got a glitchy block. We'll just have to wait for that to stop glitching, maybe. And, uh, we are going to put some pieces in like this, and then add in some of these pieces. And, oh, this is very annoying. Alright, this is very annoying. I wonder if I can block that up somehow. I wonder if I can stop that glitch. 
Well, it'll have to stay there for now, unfortunately. But I'll have to try and block that up a little bit later on. So then... Oops, not like that. If we then... Uh, sideways like that. And, oh, I think I picked it up. I think I picked it up. Did I pick it up? Yay! Okay, there we go. Very good. So, Bubbleberry, if you just copy that out on the other side, I'll help you out here. And then add in some of these glass panes I've got. And there we go. Nice. Alright, so this is coming along very nicely. So, one more. Up like that. And around. And don't worry, if you step out of the way, I'll place in some of the spruce wood place. There we go! That's what it looks like. What do you think, Bucky? Are you happy with how the lizard's lunch is coming along? I think he is. I think he's very happy with how it's coming along. Okay, so now we just got to build this around like this. And leave a space for the door. And then do it across up the top like this. And I'll leave Pepperberry to continue building that one. And then we can add in these spruce planks across here like so. And then, if the penguin will get out the way... <laughs> and Pepperberry, I think you built it one too high there. As remember, we still have to do the uh, plank parts at the top. So, uh... Oh, looks like there's a creeper going... Uh, I just heard a hiss behind me, and oh no. <sighs> That's rather annoying. We'll have to worry about that one a little bit later on, though. Anyway, Pepperberry, if you've got any more spruce... Uh, logs on you. Could you perhaps continue putting on the uh, spruce logs on the top, please? And then I am going to head back to the house and grab us both some spades. And we're going to do a bit of a spleefing contest. So, Pepperberry, just leave that one for now. We'll have to fix that up a bit later on. And I'm going to run back to the house very quick and grab some spades for our spleef contest. Right. Just head up here quickly and grab a bit of food. Maybe eat the rest of that cake. Do a cycle around the house. <laughs> eat the rest of the cake. Grab some more food, but I think I might go in and get the spades first. Right. Grab the spades. And I think I need another spade, so I'm going to have to make one. And, oh, I think I'm out of... Out of, uh... Sticks. So I'll have to make a few more sticks. Right. Just grab a bit more to eat. Okay, and we are ready. Alright, so we'll just head on back and then we can have ourselves a little bit of a spleefing contest. And I think Purpleberry is continuing along with building. So it's coming along very nicely, as you can see. It looks pretty good. I'm very pleased with it. We'll have to leave it at that for now. And perhaps we can use some more to block it up a bit later. And Oh, hello, Bucky. Out you come. Now, Purpleberry, here you go. If you just uh, grab this spade. There we go. And I'll grab my one. And if you start in the other corner and I'll start in this corner, we can have spontaneous belief. Right. Are you ready, Pearlberry? Okay, begin the spleefing in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So we can have a bit of a spleef. Move it along, try and knock the other person down. And we can stop Purpleberry from getting across, hopefully. She might fall down if she tries to jump across. Oh, and she's across, she's across. All right, got to try and box her into this corner here. Oh yes, I got her! Yay! So probably if you just continue to try and mine her away from down there, perhaps pick up some of the blocks. There we go. Oh no! Pepperberry was slain by a spider! Aww. Mean spider. I can see Pepperberry's loot down there, actually. I'll jump down and help Pepperberry. I'll avenge Pepperberry by grabbing that and killing this baby zombie, actually, as well. Out the way, baby zombie. Smelly googlies. Right. 
So I'll just collect up some of this dirt, pile my way back up. Oh, Bubba Bear had some cake on her. Hmm. Yum yum. Right. Then we can continue to spleef our way around, like so. And I'll just uh, jump off here. So then, Purple Berry, if you just come on back down, and uh, we can... Purple Berry, if you take the uh, the white wool, and you start making a bit of a checkerboard pattern with the white wool, and I'll start with the green wool. So I uh, will just move it along like this. There we go. So we're going to have a little bit of a checker pattern going like this at the moment. That's what the idea was, and oh, we'd better head to sleep, Purple Berry, back up to the house. Alright, so we'll just go to sleep quickly, and I might grab some of that blue wool so we can uh, finish off the front part of the uh, lizard's lunch. And then uh, Purple Berry, she'll come on up to sleep, and I'll go back to sleep with Muffins. Muffins, my cat. And uh, we are planning on making a few more videos uh, with cat taming, just because it's so much fun to watch cats being tamed, and it usually takes a very long time. It took Purpleberry absolutely forever to try and tame her cat off camera, because we ran out of fish and heaps of other things, and yeah, it took a very long time, it was very funny. But now she has her cat, it's all good. So we're going to try and do a few more cat taming videos. And also, we're going to be uh, making a bit of a bunny playground sometime soon, we're going to uh, bring in some bunnies. So, February, if you just close the door behind you, and I believe I still have some food on me. I've got a cake on me. Yummy. Right. So, we can continue to hollow out the floor a little bit. Okay. So, I think if I give Purpleberry a spade. Where's Purpleberry? I think she's still coming from the house. Um. Oh yes, I've forgotten my blue wool. Maybe if I get Purpleberry to get it? Okay, thanks Purpleberry. Alright, so I'm going to uh, begin on the roof. So, how I'm going to do the roof is I'm just going to do some of these stairs all the way across, like this. So if I jump and place and jump and place and... Oops, not like that. <laughs> I didn't want to place stairs there. So the roof is going to be out of birchwood stairs, as you can probably guess. And I'm just going to keep on jumping and placing and jumping and placing. And the thing I want about the Lizard's Lunch Cafe is that I want all the food to be made on premises. So I want all of the food to be made on premises. So out the back, you might have noticed we still have a few more torches that we didn't uh, put in. And that is because we're going to be making a little bit of a farm out the back. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan anyway. So... Hopefully, we'll be able to get round to that in uh, one of my next few episodes. Okay, there we go. So, now if I just put the roof in as a uh, oak wood, we should be able to build it up one more level. So, I think I may have to uh, continue with the roof off camera, just because it was going to take a little while and it may be a little bit boring. So I think I'll just leave the roof at that, and I'll continue to help Purpleberry out with the, uh, with the, um, floors. So I'll just, uh, pull these floors out for her. Right. So, uh, we may, we'll continue to finish off the floor, and, oh, <laughs> sorry Purpleberry, and, uh, we'll continue to do the floor, and also the roof, off camera, and in the next episode, we will probably be uh, doing all the insides of the uh, the lizard's lunch. So we'll be doing all the insides, all the tables and the bar and all that. So that will be what's happening uh, for next episode. And speaking of next episode, we are just about out of time for this episode. So a big thanks to Purberry for helping me out today. And also a very big thanks to you for watching. So I'll see you all next time with some more Minecraft Let's Play on the Lizard's Lunch Cafe. See you then. Bye!